Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, PGA professional, teaching specialist, been doing this for 40 years. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy today's video. Let's get to it. Hey, can your swing handle the truth? We're gonna show you three common situations you find yourself on the golf course. Ball below, ball above, and downhill. Uphill shots you can probably get away with. Is your swing up to the task? That's the question. Let's start with ball below the feet. If your swing's too flat, you're gonna really struggle with this particular situation. Let us show you how easy it is. So this situation here is really gonna help those of you who have a tendency to be really good with the longer clubs and not so good with the wedges. And this is something that Rory McIlroy has been criticized for. Amazing with the driver, but subpar with the wedge. It's his swing that's a little bit too flat. So what I would have him do is perform some shots with the ball below his feet. So if I swing back and through without stopping right here, and I just let the sole of the club cut the grass, notice how I'm cutting grass in both situations, in both directions. See where my club's gotta be? Notice how the weight is on the back portion of my arches towards my heels, and I'm not allowing my right foot to come off the ground. You're gonna see so many players through the ball with that right heel down, such as John Rahm, Tony Finau, so many players. So this is basically, essentially, where the distance between myself and the golf ball needs to be. Now, if I take the club two inside and my arms are too deep behind me, I'm in serious trouble. So I'm gonna to have to come over the top. I've seen people pull the ball from this situation. If you're way too much from the inside, you're definitely gonna have a tendency to push the ball. But if you're on plane, what does on plane mean? Hey, I can cut grass in both directions. It's as simple as that. So I just let the club cut that way, cut that way, cut that way, cut that way. Look where my arms need to be for that to happen. If my arms are here, can't cut grass. If my arms are too steep, can't cut grass. So naturally, your, your anatomy and gravity are going to gravitate towards that. So now I take this and I sneak this in here and I wanna basically match that up to that particular ball here. Now, if I wanna hit a draw from this line, not a problem play the ball a bit more back, get behind the ball a little bit, and now I'm just gonna start the ball slightly to the right of my intermediate point. So there we have it. So I'm staying right edge, and I'm staying right edge. <clears throat> and that ball started off just a little right of my inter intermediate point, and it's drawn back. Here we go. See my finish? Both feet solid on the ground, and that ball basically started a yard right of that yellow flag and drew right back behind it. Literally, that's gonna be in the hole. So look at my divot, how beautiful that is. So if I'm in balance, and I'm swinging in the direction that I wanna start the ball, the ball will always go that way. So if I'm trying to do anything fancy in my backswing, like have my arms deeper behind me and all that crap, I'm gonna suffer, okay? So all you have to do is cut grass in both directions from a nicely balanced position, and you wanna see that the blur of the club is moving towards the intermediate point. That simple. So let's look at ball above the feet. And so Sav's gonna do ball above the feet right here, and then we're gonna go over there and alternate on, on both our sides. What's important here with the ball above the feet, Savvy's gonna balance herself. You'll notice that the weight is now gonna be more forward on the arches of the feet. The arches of your feet are the buffer zone. So we're do a couple of practice swings back and through without stopping. And we're just gonna brush grass in both directions. Brush it back, brush it through. Brush it back, brush it through. Look at that. So stay right where you are, put the club down, you could see that the arc of the swing was moving in that direction, mm -hmm. and you can see that she's not gouging the ground, right? Yeah. Your, her backswing may look pretty upright, but 
we're dealing with two pendulums in the swing. So go to the top of the backswing and stop from here, Sav. Come on down in slow motion. Look at now from here how the club is pointing down the line and your hands are in front. The club is now forced from the inside and slightly down and through. So she's delivering that second pendulum in a brilliant way. So the ball and intermediate point are going between the red and the white, and the, sorry, red and yellow flag. And you're going to deliver a slight draw in that direction. Look at that. That's perfect. It started right over white and drawing back between yellow and red. And it's nudging up to the yellow flag. Again, ball is above her feet and she's taking dead aim into the direction that she wants the ball to go. Yeah. Because she's in balance and she's swinging through the ball towards her target, this is what makes the deal. If you deliver at the ball, you're going to yank it there all day. Yeah. The same thing if you're going at the ball with the ball below your feet. It changes the swing radically. So let's go to the other side. So we're going down the slope. I'm going to show you. I got nine iron in my hands right here. Nice little uh, shot down the range here. So I got this lined up on the red flag. So the key here is the weight is on my downhill leg. But please don't try to set up your shoulders with the slope. This will absolutely destroy your balance. So if I go shoulders with the slope, look at how open I am now. I'm going to be swinging across and to the inside and the shot will go everywhere. Because I'm losing my balance, the contact will be very inconsistent. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to cut grass in both directions, matching up with this. So watch, I'm going up the slope, down the slope, cut up the slope, cut down the slope, cut up the slope, cut down the slope. That's where it's passing. So I bring that in. Cut up the slope, cut down the slope. And that was just a little bit pulled. Let's have another go at that. All right, so I'm going to do a practice swing above the ball, down the slope, up the slope, down the slope. Yes, that's moving in the direction that I want to start the ball. Cut up the slope, cut down the slope. That was absolutely perfect. Started just a little right edge of the red flag and drew back right behind it. Notice the balance I'm in. I'm cutting down the slope into an extremely balanced position on that lead leg. So let's have a look from the front. Psst, hey, look at this. You know what that means? It's fall, it's off season time, our favorite time to teach for Sav Moo and I. Get with us online once a week over the course of the winter. Get the changes made in your swing, the changes made in your routine, get some turbo into your swing, and then come springtime, it's time to get back out on the golf course and perform. The time to make the changes is now, not next spring. So check out the link below in the description and let's go. So you can see how the majority of my weight is already on the downhill leg. And I'm going to up the slope, cut down, cut up, cut down. See where the club? is actually cutting the grass beyond the ball. So if I try to set up my shoulders with the slope, I'm a goner. I'm going to completely lose my balance. We wouldn't even put the shoulders in, in line with the slope on a flat lie. So perish this from your mind. We're going to set up. Now I got my direction that I'm, I'm going over my intermediate point. Heave up the slope. Swing down the slope. Up the slope, down the slope. That felt awesome. So you can see that divot, my ball was over here, and you can see how my divot 
the majority of it was well in front of the ball. There it is again, using the same divot to send in that direction. Those you could put a sheet on top in that direction. So the only way to get that divot to happen in front of the ball, weight is on the front leg. I can't put the weight on the back leg and try to lift it up. So I got to swing up the hill on the back swing, swing down and through on the follow through. If your swing is too flat, you will struggle mightily with this swing. And if you put your shoulders too in line with the slope, you're going to be way too steep and across and over the top. So you see how we, these particular situations, ball above, ball below, downhill, uphill, this is what balances your swing. So take the opportunity to practice this situation on a regular basis and your swing will thank you for it. Let's have, a, let's have Savvy hit this shot to finish things off. Awesome, Sav. Look at that balance in the finish. Looks amazing. All right, let's see you do one more. So notice how she lets the weight go to her lead leg. See how she's braced against that lead leg and look at her shoulders. That is far from being with the slope. Do a backswing and stop, Sav. So now do you feel like you can move down and through along the ground past the second ball? Let's see it. Oh, just pure, absolutely pure. Oh my gosh, what a shot. Way to go, Sav. Thank you. And here's where you can tell when her, see how she's getting ready. And then when she's getting ready to swing down the hill, notice how her right leg is hidden behind her left leg. That means the weight is predominantly on that leg. That's it. Swings up the slope. Look at that shot just started left edge of that intermediate point perfectly and drew all the way back behind the red flag. Got one more. So as you can see, human anatomy is amazing and it's there to help you out. You're Pinocchio without the strings. So if you're properly tasked, right? You're trying to swing in the direction of the target you're cutting grass in that direction, your body will respond to that. If you're cutting grass up the slope, it's gonna organize itself to do that. Same thing for down the slope, same thing with ball below or ball above the feet. If you're able to do that while staying in balance, you got it made in the shade, just like Sav. <laughs> hey, we hope you enjoyed that video. If you wanna work with either myself, Sav, or Moo, check out the description below. And if you want more in-depth instruction, with two minimum camera angles, check out wisdomandgolfpremium.com. See you on the other side. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us out.